Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. So today we are going to look at my uh, AR-15, which is uh, by LWRC. It's a DI 5.56. Um, I do live in California, so unfortunately I do have to make changes to this um, weapon here. Um, I went ahead and um, I'm going to go featureless. I don't want to do the registration. I don't want uh, to send any more information than that I must or completely have to to the government. Um, I don't believe in them having more information than absolutely that is needed. So I'm going to be making this, turning this into a uh, featureless um, weapon here. Um, I went ahead and I went with the uh, Thorson. The, uh, we're with the FRS uh, rifle stock kit. Um, they do have a Gen 3. I was not aware of it. This is the uh, Gen 2 option. Um, some people were saying that they uh, they like the Gen 3 because of the look. They were complaining about the look um, of the Gen 2. I'm not super concerned about it. I'm more concerned about just being able to um, start using my... Uh, my rifle here again um, legally um, it will give me the option though to go to a standard um, uh, magazine release so I went ahead and ordered from Battle Arms a uh, standard mag release and then for the uh, since we have this horrible flash hider here which completely makes you invisible according to the state of California um, I went ahead and ordered from Dyn Dynamis Alliance uh, their muzzle thumper which is California compliant. You can see that there it's in the box. I'm going to take this out really fast because it's kind of cool. I like it actually. I um, actually don't mind changing this out. Um, that's pretty cool. Let's see. There you go. So this will be replacing the so called. A uh, flash hider, which is you know makes everything invisible, and then obviously the Thorchin stock will because we can no longer have the collapsible anymore, and we can no longer have this in California. So those will be going away. Um, again, this is an LWRC. It's the DI 5.56. Um, of course, everybody saw. Well, if you couldn't see, it is unloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and do that swap out. Um, once we complete the swap out, um, I'll come back and I'll show you the way the way that it looks, and then we will uh, we will take it out and do some uh, test firing on it, and um, go from there. Okay, so we're back. So we went ahead and we did the uh, the modifications on the LWRC um, DI 5.56 to make it a uh, California compliant. Um, again, I went with the uh, feature list instead of having to register. I did not want to go down that route. So um, we went ahead, oopsie, sorry for that. We got the, um, we replaced the flash hider that had on it with uh, a muzzle thumper by Dymus Alliance. And then we went ahead and we were able then to um, get the uh, standard mag release there. That's from a, uh, uh, Brother Arms, I believe. I can't quite remember. And then we did the Gen 2 um, Thornton um, stock. So there's the stock right there. Um, now we're going to go ahead and test it out. Alrighty, let's go ahead and try it out and see how it works.
So it feels a little, a little different, a little weird. The thorch and stock here, but nothing that I feel is uh, anything to really complain about. There we have it. So, again, we swapped out the flash hider for a Diamonds Alliance, um, their muzzle thumper. We were able to get a, a standard mag release there. And then we put on the Gen 2 Thorch and stock. And uh, no complaints for me. Okay, welcome back. So we went ahead and um, we tested out the uh, feat our, our, our now featureless um, LWRC uh, 5.56. Um, again, <clears throat> what we did here was we went ahead and we put on the Thorson uh, Gen 2 stock. Um, they do have a Gen 3, but I didn't realize that at the time I ordered it. So I had just went ahead and I moved forward with the, uh, the Gen 2 instead of returning it. Uh, we also... Um, had to swap out the evil flash hider that came with it and we put on the Diamondus Alliance um, uh, I can't think of it with the name of um, something thumper muzzle thumper there you go muzzle thumper I think it says it right so you're gonna zoom in I don't think it is nope okay so um, the muzzle thumper by Diamondus Alliance um, so, but again, that allowed us to put on the, um, because it's featureless now, we were able to have a standard mag release. So, overall, um, you know, the look appeal of it, <laughs> you know, it definitely doesn't have that, that look that, you know, the typical semi-automatic ARs have. But, you know, hey, what can we do? We're in California, and I'm not going to, not going to register it, so I went featureless, and you know the other positive thing about it was this is you know to be able to have that to me it was very nice and I think it was all worth it um, concept design the look you know it is what it is um, you know that's what it is it does have a um, sling point attachment here um, one here same thing if you flip it over on that side and on that side it also has a right there for a sling as well. Um, my understanding is um, the one that I got is more meant for, is more adaptable to a, a single point sling than a, a two point sling. I personally have a two point. Um, I don't have it on right now because um, I need to play around with it. Um, it's definitely different trying to get it on there and get it working and so forth. Um, the, the comp or muzzle brake, whatever you want to whatever you want to call it um, you know there's definitely a, a sound difference and a more of a um, uh, you know more of a can't think of the term of the word right now um, but definitely it's, it's, it seems louder um, and more of a um, you feel it more uh, which is expected with the um, muzzle brake or compensator 
or at least you know for this one I'm sure there's others I'm sure there's others out there that were probably um, have less but this is the one I just kind of went with for now um, I like the design I think it's I think it's pretty pretty cool um, so anyways um, my biggest thing I think was it is the fact that because now there's no uh, collaps collectible um, stock um, for me I, I think it was it's a little short um, I don't know if you can add any additional pads on for the gen 2 type here the Thornton I believe with the gen 3 you can um, so it's just for me it's just gonna be a little of adjusting and you know getting the the consistent feel for it and stuff but I think it was a little bit short for me um, so it felt a little strange or a little weird um, firing it I just have to again adapt it but overall uh, this is my new uh, semi-automatic um, featureless weapon here in California um, the it still ran flawlessly no issues whatsoever um, I the the look and the appeal of it I guess is the biggest thing that deters people but hey you know if it has to look a uh, different than all the others to uh, not be registered I'm I'm all for for that so thank you again for checking this video out if you guys have any questions on featureless if you live in California or any concerns or anything like that please uh, feel free to ask leave any comments don't forget to uh, hit the like and subscribe you guys have a good night.